Gracias. Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me today on a day that I've been putting off for a huge amount of time and that is doing some proper work to the bike that's been hugely needed. The list of stuff has just been building and building now and finally after, I think I posted something on Instagram about the bike riding off and I was riding the bike and then I had a handful of people saying, Freddie, that bike sounds ropey now. And it's true. In reality, the Bonneville has been sounding awful for about three months now. Every time I try and ride off, there's a clunking sound from the rear sprockets. It's needed a new chain for ages. The brake fluid's so bad that it barely stops and then you get complete brake fade. I need a huge amount of stuff doing to it. So I'm going to bite the bullet and actually finally stop dodging it, call up a mechanic here in Tenerife and get the Bonneville back to where it should feel. I had a very nice tip off from a British guy actually, who's a Harley rider, relocated from England to Tenerife a few years ago, and he recommended this place in Tenerife, which luckily is only about five minutes from me. So I'm going to call up and hope they speak Spanish, but I have been learning Spanish. So if they don't speak English, I should be very well equipped to let them understand what the issue is. Microphone. Hola, hablas inglés. Please. Perfect. I have a Triumph Bonneville that needs a new chain and sprockets and also new brake fluid. And one other thing, every time I ride it, especially up a hill, there's a clonking sound from, I think, the rear sprocket. Mm -hmm. Can you fix it? Yep. Brilliant. When can I bring it in? You have to come on Thursday. I'll leave it here because I don't know if I can finish on the day. Okay, perfect. So bring it to you on Thursday. Si, sí, senor. What time? We open a house. Well, I'm sorry. We open at eight. Eight, nine, whatever. Great, I'll bring it at eight o'clock. Thank you so much. Okay, you win. Gracias, adios. Done. Well, you join me two days later. It's about 9 a.m. and I'm about to head off to drop off the bike at the mechanics. And honestly, I'm a bit nervous because I have no idea what's wrong with the bike. So I'm gonna drop it off. Monica's following in the Fiat and after that we'll go for a nice little brunch in a beautiful town called La Caleta but hope this isn't going to be too painful on the bank balance because basically I just have to get it fixed so whatever the problem is it's not something I can leave anymore I have to actually just bite the bullet and get it fixed so fingers crossed it's not too painful. <laughs> Here to drop this off. To be repaired. I can try it. Yeah. I hope you can. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so I think it needs a new chain and sprockets. Mm -hmm. And when I ride, especially mm -hmm. if it's up a hill, there's a clonking, it just mm -hmm. clonk, clonk. The bearing perhaps? I don't yeah. Know. It's it's been like that for about three months and it's it's really obvious. Like yeah. it sounds awful. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, um, brake fluid change. Yeah. Yeah, so that's it. Brake fluid, chain, and the clunk. Perfecto. Great. Gracias. Gracias. Are these all for sale? Yes.
I've had to ask Monica to drive back because at the entrance of Biker Zone, they've got a vehicle that Monica and I have said must be our next vehicle to own. Okay, I'm going to show you this. The Jeep Wrangler. And oh, cannot tell you how much I love these things. Jeep Wrangler. Looks like it's been raised. And this one is... 10,000 and it is it's pretty much spot on exactly what Monica and I want to buy four litre petrol oh, I love these and you can take the whole rear roof off so it's pretty much a convertible so it's four litre petrol sport it's been raised a lot that a lot let me just see what I can see on this. It is 245,000 kilometers. It is 1999 model. Oh, I love these. We've got the plastic, big plastic mud guards, super rugged skid pans there. Oh, got another Harley going in there. Oh, I like these. Okay, there's some food for thought, definitely. It's rugged, that one, it's raw, but that's how they should be. Okay, bike dropped off and I have absolutely no doubt at all it's in the best possible hands. You never really know what to expect when you go to, well, when you go to anywhere, any new bike or car mechanic or anything like that, but this looks absolutely top level. They've also got bikes and cars for sale, but only, only incredibly cool ones. So Harley Davidson, Softtails, um, Jeep Wranglers, Ducatis, they had a really nice I think it was a Harley Softail Deluxe for 10,000 euros and a few other things. Quite a few bikes I'd really like to buy. I think they're, they're possibly like a, a specialist in Harley Davidson's. They'll do all bikes, but specialist in Harleys. But it is gigantic. They must have about 45 bikes in there right now, either being worked on or getting ready to be sold. It's a huge, huge operation. Guy really nice, speaks very good English, and thank you so much for the tip off from a YouTube watcher who, who let me know. He's come over from, I think I mentioned earlier, he's come over from England, relocated here, got a Harley, takes it there, highly recommends it, and I see why, because my mind is at ease now. I just hope it's nothing too serious that's wrong with the bike, but completely at ease. This is Bloom Bar and Lounge. Monica and I just discovered it about a week ago. We were blown away. The food is delicious, the atmosphere amazing, and the location is great. Just on the edge of the tourist area, so you've got all of the tourist areas that way, but this is right on the edge, and it's actually an old fishing village. So after this, we're going to walk, because literally 50 meters behind us, you've got all of the old, kind of beautiful traditional houses right on the waterfront and it's got a real village vibe even though this is actually quite a new modern area with a lot of big houses but it's got a really nice mix if you're into fish lots and lots of good highly rated fishing restaurants and stuff the veggie breakfast croquettes guacamole white beans mushrooms some tomatoes spinach and bread we had this exact meal last week one of the best veggie breakfasts I've had. This really is incredible. And I just love the environment, the atmosphere of this place. It's amazing. This is 10 seconds away from where we've just eaten. And we just had a look at property prices in Nacoleta. It is super exclusive, more than its fair share of million pound properties. But this is what you get, a proper, a proper kind of it's not even a local vibe it's just a really nice relaxed tranquil not touristy vibe with beautiful just ocean views running the whole way along and you get these just really nice old traditional little houses here and restaurants predominantly fish restaurants all the way dotted along the coastline <music> It's 
just so nice with all of the little fishing boats just moored up there. And there are a few people actually swimming in and around the fishing boats. It's such a nice setting. And these guys, yeah. I think one day I need to come back for a swim here and see what they're looking for. I googled it. There is one place in Tenerife where you can find turtles in lots of places around Tenerife apparently, but one place you're practically guaranteed to find turtles and that is about five miles west along the coast. I guess there's a chance they'll be here as well because they are definitely in these waters in this stretch somewhere. I love the simplicity it's got. A little kind of shower that's been done just by hand attached to the railing there so you can have a shower after swimming in the water, pack of cigarettes, a couple of coffee cups, and a little straw hat to protect from the sun. Everything you need for good easy life there. With that view, I can imagine jumping in the sea in the morning, coming back there, having a shower outside on your balcony. And if you're a smoking person, cigarette with a view. And we're back at home. I wanted to give a little bit of consumer advice because I know we may be lucky with the heat here, but a lot of people will be riding in the cold. And this, this, th this isn't actually anything paid sponsorship or anything like that. It's just purely because this is the best winter jacket I've ever tried. And it's, I think, fair value. So I just wanted to give a tip on what I found. And I've, I've got jackets, winter jackets, over 150 pounds more expensive than this, but this is, and I can guarantee it, because I've worn it in minus two degrees all through the winter, 100%, and I do mean 100% waterproof, and 100% windproof. It's the Garibaldi Heritage Jacket, removable inner liner, Spanish company, I've had it for about a year. It's unbelievably good quality and it's so warm all you need to wear is this maybe a sweatshirt in like zero degrees but it is an unbelievably good jacket you will not get any wind chill you won't get cold at all and i just i cannot recommend enough so for everyone living in cold temperatures one question why did you bring it here i brought it here because i'm thinking of doing rides up to Tayde, which will be in snow monica says it's so stupid so i brought it stupid. for the ladies though yeah I've got exactly the same. Monica's got exactly the same, exactly the same as mine, and Monica's got it. And how do you rate it, Monica? Yeah, I really, really like it. It's a bit too warm for Tenerife, yeah. but in England it's perfect. How is it with... Oh, actually, you've taken the inner liner out already. Yeah, I did. Ah, that's it, without the inner liner. But yeah. Monica really likes it, and she's pretty fussy with stuff. So, yeah, I am. Um, men's and women's winter jacket, superb. That's a size large for me. I'm six foot one eighty kilos. If you're about my size, I'd say that's perfect. Any bigger go for XL, but perfect sizes. Let's show. I'll tell you what we'll do now, because we've tried it now. Banana liqueur that we got in the last video. I'm not going to lie and pretend it's the first time we've had it. We've been enjoying it a lot, <laughs> but I'll show you this because it is delicious. After a meal, this 
made in. And the other one is nice too. Show the other one. What's the other one we've got? This oh, one. Oh, this. Yeah, our uncle recommended, or my mm -hmm. uncle recommended this to me. Spanish product, and it is anise dulce destilado. It's delicious for after meal, a little shot of that. But this banana one, oh, this is so good. Okay, you have to get this if you come to Tenerife. Banana liqueur, and you have it after a meal, and it's dangerous because it tastes like juice. <laughs> you don't even need it with water, so... Just spilled all of the ice cubes everywhere. A couple of ice cubes. Just pour that over. Keep it in the fridge. We did ask her and she said, keep it in the fridge, the lady who we bought it from. Give a nice little swig there. It looks radioactive. It's such a bright yellow. But have it like that. Should we go and try the balcony? Yes, let's go. Let's go. so good. It's 30%. It tastes really like banana, super, super sweet, but with a couple of ice cubes, it's genuinely delicious. I mean, I don't know too many 30% drinks that are so... This is a bit like a banana -y Baileys, mm, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit like a banana -y Baileys, but I highly recommend it. Come here. The must-haves, Barraquito, when you're in a coffee shop. This banana liqueur, and I'm sure there'll be some other stuff. We'll recommend it as we go, but shall we, shall we wrap up here? Yes, let's do it. That's it. We will, or I will, keep you posted. I'm freaking out a little bit about the bike as to how much it may cost, but I'll keep you posted. He said a day, maybe two days. And this is the first time, the first time I've had the Bonneville. Bought it on 12,000 miles. It's now got 28,000 miles, and it's the first time I've given it to a mechanic and said just fix it because it's now got to such an awful stage it sounds like monica won't get on it anymore it sounds so bad it really is embarrassing when we ride through town and once a bike gets to an embarrassing point that's when you know you have to sort it so left it with him i told them what they i hope they can fix and i have no idea on the bill it could be 200 it could be 600 so fingers crossed but thank you so much for coming along with us today please do Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next one.